Hi, welcome to the ProBalance PT channel. My name is Ada Wells. What I'd like to do is show you how you can use the reformer with a foot plate um, for athletes that have um, anything where there's jumping and landing. This could be basketball players, it could be soccer players, it could be track and field. The point is, is usually people don't get hurt um, on the way up, it's on the landing. And particularly this is an, an issue with um, younger girls, particularly ones that have a lot of hypermobility in their knees. They need to really learn these land landing mechanics. And so this provides a safe environment for that. Also, if somebody has been injured, this provides a way to kind of get themselves back on the road to rehab, and then they can return back to their sport doing what they were doing before with, with jumping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lie down. And what's nice here is that we can focus, first of all, on just what, what the body, where, where when we land, we should have the movement landing from. So I'm gonna first just start with a little, um, a little leg press here. And what's nice is just at this position here, we can get a little bit of stretch in the um, Achilles area. Um, if I see that the knees are buckling in, we can give a little bit of, we can get some cueing, just make sure that the knees are staying in alignment. All the while, I'm maintaining um, stability here at the pelvis, so I'm, not, I'm trying not to move this area, okay? Then as you get better with this, you can move into just going up onto your toes, and back down and just kind of that sense of kind of toe ball heel as you're coming back down and jumping up on the ball of your foot okay then we can kind of go ahead and move into a little jumping motion and what we're watching for once again is that you're landing quietly with control and that we're also watching those knees don't buckle in but they stay in alignment. They stay in their little imaginary toaster slots. And that really those feet are not landing hard, but they're creating shock, and you're able to learn how to absorb the shock through your feet. Okay? If we want to make this more challenging, we can work on just doing single leg, because a lot of times you're reaching up for that basketball, you're coming down, you may end up landing on one leg. Okay? You can also work a little bit on doing something where it's more cardiovascular and working on core, some high knees. We can also work a little bit even doing some rotational motions. Once again, you can put a ball in a person's hand and kind of think about, hey, I've got to land, my body might be aiming the other direction. So it gives a way to um, recreate this, this kind of what we would do athletically in a anti-gravity position. And like I said, I can increase the springs that's going to make me come back quicker, so I'm going to have to work a lot harder in the legs. With a lighter spring, however, I'm going to be airborne longer, and in which case my core is going to have to really work to watch out that I don't lose my, uh, my good neutral spine position here. Okay? So that just gives you a couple little ideas on the types of things we do here at ProBalance when we're working with athletes. Until next time, we'll see you then.